Hello to all my wonderful Whisper customers in the internet there. My name is Tom, and today we're going to talk about Whisper's new billing system. Our systems are being upgraded, something that most companies do from time to time. Uh, however, the new system should be a lot easier to use, and I'm here to demonstrate some of the things that you can do from within the new system. So let's get right down to it. If you, When you log in, uh, you'll see a screen very similar to this one. It should be a lot less busy. This is a test account. This is a fictional person. Um, and as you can see here, you know, right at the very beginning when you log in, you'll see an account balance, you know, how much is owed here. You'll also see off to the right a list of services that are encompassed in the account. And then a little bit lower, you'll see a list of invoices. So right at the front page, it gives you all of the most pertinent data that you might be interested in looking for. Um, as I mentioned, this is a test account, and there's lots of stuff here that you may not normally see on a regular account. A typical account may look a little bit more like this, where you would have your service, which is your home service or wh whatever location, and an equipment fee. That'll be a lot more typical. But for testing purposes, we're showing you this one. So what will happen here is when you log in, uh, you'll see your total account balance. Hopefully it will not be anywhere near this high. Uh, but what you can do here is say, for instance, I just won the lottery. I'm going to pay my bill. I would click over here where it says pay by IP pay. Uh, and what will happen is it'll ask me for some information. It'll say, how do you want to pay? Do you want to pay by your bank account? Which I can pick that one. And then it'll ask me for an account number, routing number, and some basic info. Or it'll say, do you want to pay by credit card? And then it'll ask me for the same type of info, name, first and last name, credit card number, expiration date. And then it'll ask me if I want to save that info here if, if it's, you know, if I'm planning on making a payment later on with the same card. Now, getting back to the dashboard screen here, one of the other things that you can see is, say, for instance, I didn't win the whole Mega Millions, but I won a smaller prize, and I want to go in here and pay some outdated, or I'm sorry, some overdue invoices, I can go and pick and choose exactly which invoices I would like to pay. So I say, for instance, I'm looking at the list of invoices here. This one is marked as overdue. It's a $10 invoice. I want to pay that invoice, I can click on the check mark and that'll take me to a very similar screen where I put in my details. Likewise, if I wanted to see more info about that particular invoice, I could click on the little I, it'll tell me what the invoice is for. As you can see, this one is a testing invoice, so there's a message here, do not touch this testing invoice. I can also get a little bit more of a natural view of the invoice by clicking on that view button. It'll take me to a PDF version of the invoice. And if I wanted to, I could print out that version by hitting the print button. But you can see it just like you would uh, a normal paper invoice that is mailed to uh, a customer. You can also download a copy of this if you wanted to. That is avail That option is available on any of the invoices in your account. So going back to the main screen here, when you look at the right side of the screen, you'll see a tab that says My Services. And as I mentioned, this won't be quite as busy for, um, for most customers. But in this case, there's a lot of stuff here that's there for testing purposes. But if you look here, you'll see that there are several internet uh, services. So each one of these would be considered a separate location. So if you had service at your home and then you also had service at your office, you would see one entry for each one of those here. In this case, there are five different entries. And then the other services uh, marked recurring, those are uh, other services where we provide like a static IP block. In this case, that's what these two are. So they may not apply to every single person out there. For most, typically most customers, you'll see something like this. You'll have your home service and then you'll have your equipment fee, which is typical of most customers. Now, in the dashboard, if you head off to the left here and click on st statistics and internet, click on the internet there, and it'll, it'll give you a graph and it'll tell you basically how much service have you been using. Now, Whisper doesn't have any internet data caps. We do not believe in those. Um, and this isn't for you to see, you know, how close am I to any sort of data cap that we don't do that. This is 
merely for your information. If you'd like to see and are curious how much internet have I used in the last few days, that information is available here. You can change it by, you know, you can change how much of a time frame you want to see. Uh, and you can see all of your services. And you can also narrow down by different, you know, just if you want to see at home or a particular service, you can choose that there as well. This one isn't quite working yet. It, it should be working fairly soon. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned it. If you click off to the left here, the star emblem and click on my services, you can see more details about your individual services. So in this case, all of those things that were listed off to the right hand side on the main screen show up here. And if you wanted to see details about those services, you can click on view details and it tells you, in this case, it tells you the service is active, it tells you when the service started, et cetera, et cetera. It will also give you some info about the recurring services. Again, active status, when did it start? And that basic info is, is in there. If you need to change any of these services, please contact us. We will be able to do that. Um, that is not something that is able to be um, done from within this portal. And lastly, on the left-hand side, if you go over here to Finance and then Documents, you will be able to see a similar view. Um, any invoice shows up here. Your payments also show up in here. So if you wanted to see a receipt, for instance, you would pick the first payment. In this case, a payment was lodged in here for $20. You could either view it, you could download a PDF copy of it, or you could open a PDF copy if you wanted to print it uh, by clicking on the PDF symbol there. And in this case, because it's a receipt, it won't look like an invoice, but it'll tell you it's a payment receipt. And it'll tell you what the payment is for. It's for $20, what the receipt number is, and what invoice number it ties to. So if you needed a printout to, you know, for tax purposes or what have you, you can find it there. Same with the invoices, same with any kind of credits, you can see that. In this case, for testing purposes, a $50 credit has been added here. We click on it and it will open uh, the same window and it'll refresh. It'll give you a credit note that'll show that a $50 credit was applied to this account. So those can all be printed off from this uh, new portal. There should be some more and exciting features coming to this. So please stay tuned. But for the moment, what will happen is you'll get an email notifying you of this change. This video pr will probably be attached to it. And then you should also be given instructions on how to log into the new portal. For the most part, your credentials will probably stay the same, but we may ask you to reset your password just for security purposes. So if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at 1-800-765 7772. Again, that's 1 800 765 7772. Or you can email us at support at whisperisp.com. And that's spelled support, S U P P O R T, at whisperisp.com. That's spelled W I S P E R I S P.com. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us and we will do our best to help you. Thank you very much and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.